Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So as you can tell from the title of this video, it's going to be all about perfume. So what I'll be doing in this video is I'm going to be testing out new perfumes that I've never used before. They are just samples that have been sitting in my closet for a long time and I just haven't used them. But then when I was moving, I found all these samples and I'm like, hey. Might as well try it and then it's cool to do a video on it anyways. Because I feel like perfume is not a subject that's spoken about in the beauty world as much. Yeah, we talk about hair, makeup, clothes, but not so much perfume. And I feel like that's kind of crucial because I can guarantee that most of us wear perfume on a daily basis. Or at least I'm, I'm comfortable saying at least like 85% of people probably wear perfume or cologne on a daily basis and I will be one of those of the 85%. So in this video I'm going to be using some Scentbird perfume which I'm sure if you guys have looked you know way back in my videos you've seen that I've used them before so it's something I've been using for a while it's not something that you know it's just my first time in general. It is my first time trying these specific scents so no it's not my first time using Scentbird but it's my first time using these scents. I'm also going to be using some other samples from some other brands that I will get into further in the video. So I'm going to start with the Scentbird because there's just so much more to talk about with the Scentbird perfumes. Um, they come in these cute little bags and they are like a uh, velvet material, I would say. And um, what you're going to do is obviously open the bag and take out the perfume. So the way it comes, it's a small little bottle, but I feel like it's the right size. It's not too small and it's not too big either. And one of the things that I like about the size is because whenever I'm traveling, I mean, usually perfume bottles are a little bit over the three ounces or three and a half ounces that you're allowed to fly with. And I usually put all that kind of stuff on my carry-on just because, you know, Things can get a little rough, and I don't want anything breaking, especially something with so much value. Uh, but usually my perfume is never allowed because my perfume is too big to be on my carry-on, and I don't like risking it in my check-in, so then that kind of leaves me with like a small body spray, which I'm not too crazy about because body spray definitely is not as strong and it doesn't last as long as a perfume does. So that's why I really like this size. Um, it's not too small to the point that if like, I use it like one day and there's nothing left in it. I'm just gonna do like a comparison just so you guys know I'm speaking facts. So the way the spray bottle comes, you have to like twist it, see how the top, goes up a little bit and you have the option obviously you can like spray it this way I don't know if you guys would be able to see that on a video but might as well smell it it's my first time anyways oh that smells good I would wear this one to like meetings I don't know it has like a sophisticated smell to me if that makes any sense um so you can just pop you know, right out of the little case. The case is just really cute because to me, it protects it from breaking if you have it like in your purse or anything. You just pull it right out and let me just show you, like these are other samples that I have here. Like, look at the difference in size. That is like a dramatic difference. Um, and the reason why that matters to me is because when a perfume comes this small, like despite the perfume, the brand, whatever, when it comes this small, it's just really hard for me to fall in love with something that goes by so quickly. You know, I'm the type of person that I need to try something at least, like minimum, at least for like a week, you know, to know that I really do like it or close to loving it. I don't drown myself in perfume, but of course, like I spray my neck maybe like two to three times. And I also put some like on my wrist, you know, where everybody does that and they kind of like rub their wrists together. So by me doing that, this doesn't last me that long. So, I mean, it's cute because it's a sample, but will I buy it? I don't know. It's hard for me to commit spending that much money on something that I'm not even sure if I really like yet. And I have an issue when I go shopping at the stores because it's so many perfumes all at one time. You know, they're constantly throwing those little sample papers at you with the, you know, the thing to smell it. 
after a while, like, they all start to smell the same to me. After I start smelling a whole bunch, it's like I can't even tell which one is which, which is the one that I really liked because I tried so many and there's so much around me that I usually just end up leaving. When I have perfume, it's because someone buys it for me as a gift because I just, that kind of, like, ruins the experience for me, you know? And it, you know, might sound dramatic to some people, but that's how it really is. Like, you're not going to just spend $80, $90 on something that you're not even 100% sure if you're going to like it or not, you know? So if you're like me, my purse is always, it has, like, a bunch of junk inside, and it always adds up no matter how much I keep saying, okay, with this purse, I'm going to keep it clean. But it always just adds up with stuff. So this size right here... I like it with things in it. I know it's not going to break because of this. It's like a shield. Um, and this perfume, which is the first one that I uh, sprayed that I'm like, I really, really like it. It's called Toka by Simone. You know, you could always tell the difference between like a, a cheap kind of perfume or cheap quality. I'm not going to say a cheap perfume, but a cheap quality perfume versus a higher quality perfume. As soon as you spray it, you can kind of tell the difference. You know, and I'm a mom, so I like to be really reasonable with the way that I spend my money. And perfume, you know, I've been mentioning that it costs about $80, $90. But there are perfumes that actually go up higher than that. That's just the perfumes that are in my price range. Uh, but they could become a lot more expensive. There's perfumes that I've seen that go in the hundreds. And I could never see myself spending that much money on perfume. You know, um, so it's kind of like you're dating perfume before you commit to perfume. They literally sell brands like Prada and Gucci. Tom Ford. You see where I'm going? Like the same things you would see in a department store. So this is another one. Look how pretty this one is. So the one that I just showed you was white and this one's like a soft pink. So as you can see, you can get them in different colors, which is really nice. It's all the same. Like they all twist up and you can spray. Let's see this one. This one smells more like flowers to me. It has more like a floral scent this one's called escada joyful this one i feel like i would wear if i'm out and about just because it reminds me of like spring flowers so basically the way this works with scentbird is you will go on their website and you can get a perfume delivered to you every month so one perfume per month which will equal out to 12 perfumes in the year which that's a lot because i don't even think that i buy 12 perfumes in one year so i feel like that is a good deal because these bottles are big enough that they will last you the whole month so none of it goes to waste none of your money goes to waste which is a huge plus and you get to switch it up every single month you get to try something new which for a person like me i find that absolutely amazing and they also have free shipping which that's an even bigger plus because who doesn't love saving money? Let's be honest. My next bottle is like how ugh, I'm like in love with these colors. Like the colors alone, aside from just the perfume, the colors are like talking to me. So let's smell this one. So this one specifically has more of a mature scent to me. It reminds me more of like my mom. And that's not a bad thing, obviously. Like, you know, it's just that growing up, you kind of like remember your mom's scent you know and I feel like that's just something that it's like a certain scent that your your mother has and this one right here reminds me a lot of her this one right here is called Narcisco Rodriguez for her so the last scent bird one that I have is this cute little gold one and let's spray this one I didn't mean to aim for my face <laughs> I'm like really bad at explaining scents because I speak more of like the experience that it gives me versus like, you know, I don't know too much about the whole chemistry of making perfume, but it's like certain smells make me feel different like personalities. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but this one makes me feel like, like I was rich. I don't know. It just has like, wealthy doesn't have a smell. But this just reminds me of like a wealthy woman. I don't know. But it's doing it for me. I really, really like this one. This one is called Rag and Bone Bergamot. Now moving on to these other samples that I have. Spray this one. So 
So this one's called Miss Dior by Dior, and it smells amazing. So this one is a Gucci perfume. It's called Bamboo. That one has a like more of a youthful smell to me. And I do have a code with Scentbird for you guys. I got you guys a 25% discount off of your first perfume. So all you gotta do is just click the link that you see right down in the description box and it's gonna guide you right into the Scentbird website so you guys can get your discount. So I hope you guys enjoyed my informative perfume video and you know, basically how you can smell like a big baller without having to spend a big baller dollars, you know, because our accounts are not set up that way. So please let me know your thoughts down below. Again, make sure you check the description box for all the coupon codes, the links, all the things you need to know to get started on this thing. So I'll see you guys next time. And it was nice chatting with you guys. Bye.